Hiya! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Lavish V here, and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome! For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here, it is some hair, fashion, makeup, beauty, vlogging, and a lot of perfume reviews. Yes, if you haven't already subscribed, come on you know what to do please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell please watch my videos and do leave me some thumbs up and guys girls women men please don't forget to comment in my comment section as i am so enjoying the interaction with all of you guys so yes please do keep your comments coming so guys yes without further ado I would love to jump right into today's perfume review and the perfume I've got for you again it is another Arabian fragrance guys and this is from somewhere in Dubai I believe and um, this one it is called um, it is called Sham Al Amarat Kususi um sham al kalala go susi i'm sorry y'all but it's a hundred mils that come in this and here you have the box and this is a box on top of a box so we remove that and this is what you have inside and it looks like some red fire and um yeah let's put this one aside let's put that down there and this is what the inside box in a box looks like and it's got that on the top of it so let me open it up and show you what it come like inside the box so inside the box you get um this uh deodorant free deodorant came with the fragrance and this fragrance like i've said it is in a hundred mils let's look at the deodorant bottle so this is the deodorant bottle and it's very arabian and it i think this one is in a 30 mils or something like that it feels like y'all and i can't vouch for the size that i'm saying but it does feel like a 30 mils it's not a 100 mils of course so let's put that um deodorant down it's a spray deodorant as well then um this is the fragrance um bottle and the fragrance bottle it is gorgeous i love the ruby color the ruby red of this bottle and it comes with um uh the logo of the fragrance we don't need that on there so i'm just gonna put that down so that you can look at this beautiful arabian um bottle the bottle is weighty and feels of a good quality and looks all right it's decent enough i'm just checking the rim of the bottle neck it looks secure enough and yeah it's gold and ruby and the cap it's like crystal diamond -y look um and that's gorgeous so i've covered it back for a second so on here it says it's a other perfume natural spray y'all and I wanted to check okay there's not you can't open this thing that came on the neck so it's just a tag and for no purpose at all but anyway let me do this for you I'm gonna get a test strip spray the test strip and let's discuss what this one actually smells like okay so test strip is sprayed okay so this one what is it called again where did I put the box, y'all? <laughs> this one is the is the Shams Al Amarat. Shams Al Amarat. I hope I can remember that now. Shal Az Aramat. Okay. 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 This one, guys, it is a sweet sensation of rose. musky creamy sandalwood oh 
and I like this scent y'all it is um, very feminine and I think it has some amber I would call this um, a feminine scent it says unisex but again this one leans super feminine this is not a scent that I think a guy can get away with yeah I'm not sure if it's if it it doesn't smell masculine at all to me it's warm it's spicy it's a little bit creamy on the dry the musk is but it kind of smell a bit um like a spray that come in a can rather than a perfume if that makes sense but it's a nice smell but it is strong i only sprayed a little on there it's coming across like when you get those spray bottle deodorant and you go crazy with it and it's all suffocating so this one you would have to use it very sparingly um and this one will definitely pop a headache because as i'm talking now the headache that i've started out with got a little bit worse so this one it definitely is feminine it is also a nice scent but a strong headache inducing scent when you over spray so be prepared for that in your mind as for the scent it is a very nice um, amber uh, floral rose um, kind of a uh, warm spicy uh, very nice scent it's enough it's not I would say it's a bit offensive if it's too strong if you spray it too much it would get offensive like give people around you a headache give yourself a headache so for this one it can be offensive so but if you just spray a subtle amount then it it's inoffensive because it wouldn't give you a headache or anyone around you a headache This one, I would say, I would say that it's a little bit sweet as well, but it's by no means sticky. It's not syrupy. It's not, um, it's not, it's not, um, that kind of sweet that make you feel hot and want to have a shower at all. It's, um, a, a good sweet. I want to say that this one is is highly complimentary I've used this one and got a lot of compliments when I went to the supermarket I've been asked who um, what fragrance I was wearing and it wasn't uh, it I didn't spread too much and I didn't spread uh, um, up I spread it more from my bust down and it still was radiating so it's a strong nice feminine scent guys don't buy this and think it is for a guy because it's not for a guy it is not for a guy and ladies don't buy this for your husband because I really have tried to picture my husband in this but I cannot it's too feminine it's it's seriously feminine the little musky woodiness in this one does not give it the right for a guy it is a feminine musky woody scent so that's it for this review i hope it's been interesting and informative anyway look after yourself i do try my best y'all this one don't come with notes so i don't know it's what i smell i told you so um i can't put notes on the screen for you guys but i'm sure it smell like what i've said and look after yourself take care until next time bye